At a cybersecurity warning now putting thousands of travelers' bank accounts and identities at risk. 20 major hotels in 10 states may have been hit by sophisticated hackers, and one of those is right here in Tampa. Reporter Ryan Smith is live to explain what customers can do to keep their valuable information safe when they're out there traveling. Ryan? That's right. Hackers are after your name, credit card account numbers, and expiration date. All information needed to check into most area hotels. Since we've learned intercontinental Tampa Bay on Kennedy and West Shore, well, it was targeted earlier this year, impacting potentially thousands of Tampa travelers. HEI Hotels and Resorts says hackers using malware may have swiped credit card info between March 21st and mid-June at the intercontinental Tampa Bay. Hotel guests we spoke with say they were not told about the hack. Put me in like a worried situation. Scary. Scary to think about. The widespread breach could date back to as early as March 2015 in some locations. The credit card data, the card number, the CVV, and the expiration date, these records are being literally sold and resold and resold on the call it illegal side of the internet. Stu Showerman is founder and CEO of No Before, a Clearwater firm specializing in cybersecurity. He says this method of hotel hack is nothing new and could have been prevented. They should have learned from the earlier hacks that had been done and how that was done. For your protection, Showerman suggests travelers update laptops and smartphones before the trip from home. Also, use a credit card, never debit, when checking into a hotel. Fraudulent charges cannot be disputed on your debit card. And if you stayed at the Intercontinental between March and June, monitor bank statements for unusual activity and freeze the accounts in question. No bad guy is going to be able to open an account in your name, meaning identity theft is going to be a lot harder for the bad guys if you do that. And company officials telling me tonight that they are currently in the process of revamping their network security systems to, of course, improve payment security for their guests. Now, I did ask an estimated number of how many customers that this data breach impacted a company spokesperson telling me that information will be coming out later this week. Live in Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.